I can't believe I don't already have a video for drawing the structural isomers of hexane, C6H14. I'm going to start with hexane just to show you what it looks like. This is six carbons in a row saturated with hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons all in a row. The way that I draw structural isomers is to chop one carbon off the end that leaves me with pentane, and then deciding where I can stick that extra one carbon that I chopped off. Putting down the ends gives me hexane back, so that's no good. My options are carbon two or carbon three. Putting it on carbon four would mean that I had number this from the other side, one, two. That would, well, like, putting it here would have been the same as putting it here because of symmetry, basically. So this is actually it for my pentanes. What about my butanes where I've chopped off two of the carbons? See, one, two, three, four. I still have two that I need to accommodate. Where can I put them? Again, the ends, are no good because then that gives me a pentane or even a hexane back. I could put one on each of the middles. I could put both of them on one. If I put it on opposite and opposite, that's actually the same again. Um, I'm ignoring stereochemistry here, like R and S. Don't worry about that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we're looking for structural isomers, so geometric isomers don't matter. Um, that is pretty much it for my options. Then if I put them both here, then that's the same as this one. All right. And if I take this down to propane, I need a place to put three extra carbons, but I can't put them on the ends because that extends my chain and I'm maxed out by the time I add two here and I still have a fifth carbon that I need and there's nowhere to do that without extending the chain, so I can't do that either. These are my five structural isomers for hexane. I did it the long way because I wanted to show you that there's a nice little method to do it. Would you like me to name them for you? Hey, if you don't want me to, close the video. Huh. This is hexane because it's six in a row. Some people call it n-hexane, but not me. This is a pentane because it's five carbons in a row, but there's a one carbon chain on, uh, on carbon two. So that's two methyl. This one's pretty much the same, except that methyl group is on carbon three of the chain, the middle one. So this is three methyl pentane. Now I have a butane, but I have two methyl groups. One one's on carbon two and one's on carbon three. This is two comma three dimethyl butane. And this one has both of those methyl groups on the same carbon, so it's two comma two dimethyl butane. Oh yeah, that's five structural isomers for C6H14, drawn and named just how you like it. I know you do. Best of luck.